Here in George Floyd's hometown of Houston, protests have remained largely peaceful. And at times, this city's police chief, Art Acevedo, has been at the center of those protests for days now. He's marched arm in arm with protesters. Uh, he also provided a police escort for George Floyd's body and met with the Floyd family yesterday as well. Chief Acevedo joins us now. Uh, chief, good morning to you. Thanks for your time this morning. I know that you, you met with the family on, on yesterday. What did you say to them? What did they what did they say to you? Well, you know, uh, we've we've actually uh, were there to receive them Saturday night when they came in with the body of George Floyd. And uh, we've been with them uh, frequently in the last few days. And, you know, our message to them is first we extended our condolences, wanted to know that we feel their pain. But the most important thing is that this is different. Uh, the, 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 the nation has uh, united against uh, police uh, misconduct and uh, some of the other social economic uh, challenges in this country, and uh, that their son's death, their brother's death, their father's death, uh, uncle's death uh, will not be in vain. I really believe we're at a watershed moment, and, I, and we're very hopeful that we're going to see some, uh, some real change, systemic change in our country. Let's talk about some of the changes that are being proposed, Chief. Uh, defund the police has become uh, quite the popular rallying cry over the past week or so in this country. Uh, Mayor of Los Angeles redirecting about $150 million from, from his city's police department to community programs. Uh, New York City's Mayor Bill de Blasio saying uh, he's going to do something similar as well. Minneapolis voting to dis, disband the, the police department effectively over the weekend. Defunding the police, uh, Chief Acevedo, you're in charge of one of this country's largest police departments. Do you support that idea? Well, no, I mean, it's a false equivalence. You know, if uh, like our mayor here uh, in Houston, uh, Mayor Turner has said, and Mayor Lori Lightfoot in Chicago, uh, the people that are impacted most by the violence every day in this country because of, uh, you know, 200 years of uh, lack of opportunity and a lot of other uh, socioeconomic uh, challenges uh, need the police most will be the one that paid uh, the price for uh, this notion that we need to get rid of the police. What our community Communities want. They want. They, they don't want less police. They want good policing. They want professional policing. They want committed policing, respectful policing. And I can tell you, in our city, the most diverse in the country, just to close a storefront, which is basically a, a place in a neighborhood, my community, which is communities of color, uh, do not like it. So I would tell the uh, elected officials that uh, knee-jerk reactions is not what uh, the community uh, is wanting. What we can do both, we can invest. Look at what we did with COVID. The Congress uh, printed a lot of money when, when this impacted the entire nation. Well, we need to do the same thing for the communities of color and poor communities, including white poor communities, to try to get them to be able to realize the American dream. So it's not an either or proposition. It's let's get let's make sure that we support the good police and uh, most importantly, hold accountable the bad policing. It's not it's not one or the other. You mentioned Congress, as you know, uh, Democrats on Capitol Hill yesterday unveiled some comprehensive legislation that would, among other things, uh, ban chokeholds uh, in the use of those new knock warrants in, in drug cases, create a federal database uh, for police misconduct. How far would those specific measures go in, in fixing some of the problems that, that we've seen revealed over the past few weeks, Chief? Well, I think that they, they go a long way. And, and uh, Sheila Jackson Lee, who's actually my actual congresswoman, I live in her district, uh, has really been at the forefront. We've been discussing uh, what we can do. The problem with our country, with policing, is our policing model is very much decentralized. We have 18,000 police departments, and it's time for Congress to actually look at the most critical policies and procedures and training regimens and make sure that they pass laws that require all 18,000 police departments to do business the same way. Like what happened in Minneapolis where they were still allowing the manipulation of the neck outside of a deadly force encounter where an officer is in a fight for their life uh, has impacted the entire nation. And so we cannot have uh, places like Houston where we've actually had a duty to, re to intervene, a duty to report uh, and, and have prohibited the use of uh, neck manipulations or the carotid control hold uh, for a long time. We've got to have those standards nationwide. And I'm glad that Congress is finally going to act and the major city chiefs will be uh, uh, helping support uh, all the measures that we feel will make uh, policing better uh, because it is not broken, but it does need to do better. And uh, all 18,000 police departments need to be on the same page. And we're, we're excited to see that development.
Chief, before I let you go, as, as you pull into the church here, uh, it's, it's really striking to see a few blocks of American flags lining the route uh, to, to the church. My understanding is based on a conversation I just had, most of the folks who, who came yesterday did not know George Floyd, had no connection to him personally. What does that say to you, Chief Acevedo? It says to me that there's a, an awakening finally in our country that we're starting to see the people not through the prism of our own life experiences, but through the prism of the of the experiences that other communities have had, uh, and I'm, uh, and it gives us great hope. You know, uh, we we're Americans for uh, years now. We've been accepting new norms in terms of the way we talk about people, the way that we paint people with broad brushes, and uh, I'm hopeful that the best days uh, of our nation are in front of us. And I think the reaction that you've seen here in Houston from our community, now we've come together. Uh, is evidence of, uh, of just that. All right, uh, Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo. Uh, Chief, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. See you later today.